Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of It's RJ TV. Doing more go ah, bleh, doing more golf clash today. I've been working on Tour Six, so I want to show you guys what Tour Six is. This is what you're preparing for. Uh, this is like the first big leap that I've taken, where it kind of got really hard. And right off the bat, I love this course. Look, it looks like you're supposed to shoot it straight up. You even have the wind going that way. But this shortcut here, just, you know, every time I've taken the way straight up, I've always been behind. Even if you get stuck in one of those two bunkers or on the rough, you still have a shot that's going to go further, you know, with your rough cutter or your sand wedge than if you were to pull up short because you're only supposed to go about halfway up the fairway with your wood and then you hit your wood again and you don't even end up as far. So this is one little secret and I pulled this up here because I like to see, you know, what the wind percentage is and the wind streak and everything of the people I'm playing. But as you see, she goes in the bunker, no problem whatsoever. You know, it's still better this way and now with her sand wedge, as opposed to if you were to go straight up, you see that little curvature on the right-hand side there? That's where I used to go up. And, you know, regardless of whether the wind's blowing forward, backward, anyway, I always take this shortcut. So that's the one thing I'll tell you about. And this is pre-recorded. I'm just kind of doing, you know, a little bit of commentary on it. I've been having problems because air shoe and... Every cord and every one Apple doesn't want people using screen recorders on their devices. And it's like, well, Apple, I bought the device. I should be able to do whatever the heck I want with it. It's ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, she's getting ready to take her shot. She's going to have connection issues throughout this. So while she's having her connection issues, let me just tell you real quick. You know, I was listening to the radio, and there was this woman reporter that was talking to John McEnroe about tennis and mentioned Serena Williams being one of the best players in the world. And he said, yes, definitely among women, he, she is the best player possibly ever. Well, then the woman said, why do you have to categorize it? Why can't she just be one of the best players ever? And he simply said, if she was playing with men, she'd be in the top 700. And the woman just seemed like she was baiting him, first of all. And second of all, that, you know, she was just trying to get, I don't know, she was just trying to get some kind of reaction out of them. But, I mean, if you think about it, there is strength in tennis. I know we're talking about golf here, but it just really bothered me. It's like you're, you're a reporter asking a golf analyst, a former golf professional, his opinion. He gives it to you, and then you attack him on it. Okay, whatever. That's my rant. Rant over. So anyway, yeah, you'll see I'm, I'm, I'm using a sand wedge and, you know, I don't even have to pull back very far. A lot of, pe a lot of these shots, you got to pull back far off the driver. And then I see a lot of people continue to pull back further on other shots. That wasn't the case here. You don't have to do that. I got a clear shot of the green right here. Also, on top of that, you'll notice that I didn't aim closer to the hole. I actually aimed further out from the hole and I did that on purpose because the tree line there will actually get in your way so it's better to just use a short iron instead of a wedge and you don't have to worry about the tree line here we go with this uh, connection issue again so like I was saying it really bothered me that you know this reporter would just you know start this sex sexism garbage with John McEnroe who was just asked a question and he answered it honestly you know why do why why are men hated for beating on women? Because we're so much stronger. You can't, you know, I mean, there's just so much that's in the media and everything that you see if uh, so-and-so, Chris Brown, or, you know, whoever it is, beats up his girlfriend or their wives or whatever. It's all over the paper. But God forbid you say a man's stronger than a woman in tennis. I don't know. I had to vent that out. Okay, so anyway, here we see this uh, Anne has the... Hornet is a short iron, which is an excellent short iron. Um, she did back the ball up in terms of using um, backspin on it, and I'm not a huge fan of that, but, you know, when needed, I mean, she's got a decent putt here. Also, at the beginning, I don't know if I mentioned this, at the beginning, you'll notice that I used a regular ball, 
and I used a regular ball because she used a regular ball and because of that I'm trying to save my premium balls so here I'm gonna go with the thorn and the thorn has that insane backspin so I know I could have aimed this a little better to try to get inside the hole I always pull up just like you see about two yards short <laughs> but you know I mean I'd, I'd rather pull up short than far uh, you know on a lot of these holes I gotta work on that I'm not a golf clash Tommy where I can just call my hole in one shots like he did today on his stream <laughs> so we got two easy putts here and we're going to extras and we're gonna pay a little bit in extras because we didn't use the premium ball but she's at the same disadvantage that I'm at I'm gonna show you that this hole coming up the great way to play it this is the way I play it I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to play it but I win most of the time when I play this hole but I'm not gonna get as close as I generally do here we go with the connection issues again because I didn't use um, the special ball so I don't have the side spin come on Ann, you need to switch to you verse internet that spectrum sucks at least it does in my neighborhood and now we get to sit here and stare at a flagpole raised half in the air floating magically okay here we go so it's a draw I don't think there's any other connection issues from this part on out I know there's not um, with the other players that I play against so let's get Ann's turn out of the way and all I did was record three back-to-back -back matches, win or lose. I wanted to put something up about how I'm doing on Tour 6. As you can see, I finally got over 1,000 trophies. I've been up to around 1,100 trophies. You know, I'm very streaky. I win, I lose, I'll lose seven games in a row. Then I'll turn around and win five in a row. But my win percentage is at 59%. And when I compare that to the other people that I play, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it seems kind of high. Um, you know, a lot of people are in the upper 40s or lower 50s. And, you know, obviously, if I'm going to compare myself to other people doing this on YouTube, I'm probably near the bottom. But, you know, I'm, I'm a respectable player in this. I, I've put in my games, and I just want to tell you guys what I wish I had known. As you can see, I switched out my um, hammerhead for the big dog. Um, everyone I talk to has mentioned, you know, uh, Golf Clash Guides on Facebook. Um, Tommy uh, today on his stream, you know, said th these are the clubs that you got to use. And as you can see, I just put it up on that little part that juts out. If you need to rewind it, you can rewind it to see. The only difference is I would have put ball, spot, ball spin in in the opposite direction, and I would have got much closer to that hole. But we were close enough to get the win. So what is that, $30,000 in our pocket? I wish it was $30,000. 30,000 gold coins? I think it was 30,000, or is it 60,000? No, 60,000, but we had to put 30,000 in ourselves. So we move on up the list, and we're going to play again. Who are we going to match with? Um, don't want to have any dead air here. Got my rant out of the way. Okay, now this is always intimidating. Whether they're higher or lower than me, people who've won tournaments, and instead of having just that little green badge like I have that says that I made it to, you know, the tournament, scares me. So anyway, see, I'm here I'm going first. So I busted out my Marlin, because I don't know if this person's using a special ball or not, so I'm not taking any chances. Got a 9-mile-an-hour headwind. I want to get... You need to pull back further on this hole because there's a tree line to the right hand side right now that you need to get past that'll give you big headaches if you don't get past it i kind of curled it some because i have rolled off on the right hand side in the past into the water or the bunker or whatever so see you'll see a tree line right on the right hand side of the screen see i'm clear so i'm good there and now charlie's going to take his turn also with the extra mile excellent club if you've watched my other videos you know how I feel about it he's using a much better ball than I am but um, you know I never used a special ball in tour five or anything lower than that and I think these people are wasting their gold coins now I've never seen anyone be able to take a shot like this I wonder what he's gonna do about that 7.3 mile an hour wind but that this looks interesting if this works well I don't know about pulling back that far 
uh, maybe I don't know what he's uh, I don't think this turns out too good for him he does jump over the balls in the rough at least it didn't roll down the hill into the bunker so you know he's he could save a little bit of face there anyway we have an excellent shot to take here got the big dog instead of the hammerhead as I mentioned before now because I have the big dog I can shoot my ball as close as I can to that pin so I can set myself up with the easy putt or chip in if I make a small mistake. So I'm putting the spin to the right here, and I'm thinking I'm changed. I, I thought I changed my mind. This guy says night nice shot, nice shot before I even took it. I take those people as trolls. I hate when people, you know, talk like that. I don't know. I, I can't tell you what they're saying, but I thank them later on for that. So I take my shot, get a favorable bounce. And roll it right up by the hole so I don't have to worry about a chip in. I'm happy with that. And then I thank him after I take the shot. <laughs> so you want to thank me before I take the shot or tell me I did it, took a good shot? Now, see, this is where these mistakes don't pay off. You know, you pull back, you do something silly or whatever. He's got a 57% win percentage. I have 59, so we're very close, but I'm going to be putting. And here he goes again, pulling way back. You don't need to pull that far back. You're not gaining that much extra. The only time that I would say you guys should be pulling back is if you have to hop over something, you know, or avoid something. And, and that was just silly. You know, now he's going to have an easy, even harder shot. He thought it was funny. I was waiting for him to spam me with, emojis but he didn't so I don't know what that good shot was about earlier so I got my putt in now he's going to go for the chip in he, he's got the Malibu which is my favorite club but 7.9 mile an hour wind and you know just the fact that you know that meter goes so fast because you are in the sand he's at a huge disadvantage here so he's made two mistakes. Um, if he could have got a little closer, he could have used possibly a wedge. And this would have been a very makeable shot. Now he's sitting at about probably not even 50-50 odds if he gets a perfect shot. So the ball rolls down the hill. We got a good game. Says well played to me. Good game. Always trying to be courteous, you know. Uh, don't spam emojis. If you're going to rage quit, click on your profile and, you know, hit the forfeit match. Don't make people wait. And even forfeiting a match kind of sucks because some people are going for their pin chest. So, you know, I mean, if you don't, if you got to quit, I would forfeit rage quitting. They need to put something in this game to fix it up. All right, last game. We're going up against Trent here. Pretty much the same type of player. I uh, might be a slight underdog. Now here, see, this is more of a practice. Say what I say, not as I do. I like going over here and hitting the ball to the right-hand side because it's really hard to get the ball up on the green in a, in a good way if you take the right-hand side of that island of trees in the middle of the course. But as you can see on this shot here, I get extremely lucky. The shot was made perfectly, but it, I skip right over that sand trap, as you saw. And he says, wow, and I feel like that was close, and wow, and yeah, that, that, I, that was a huge, huge deal for me. I was really happy that I did that because that affects my next shot greatly. Now he's going to attempt the same thing. But unfortunately, I don't believe he has the same luck. And again, normally up, oh, and he's using a regular ball. I could have got away with a regular ball, but maybe I wouldn't have won if I would have used a regular ball, so who knows. So anytime I got to play first, I use one of my special balls. And if I'm not playing first, and they take a shot, and I see they're using a white ball, that's what I, uh, you know, I'll use a white ball. And he was unlucky. He hit the. Uh, he wasn't able to skip out of the sand like I was. Now look at how I'm set up with this shot. And again, with the big dog, the hammerhead. I don't know if it. You know, I, I don't have the same distance on the hammerhead. So, you know, I'm using backspin because the main thing I want to do here 
is have a good putt. I know that my accuracy is low on the big dog. So this is the best I could do. I get a great shot. Hope, I was hoping for a perfect shot, but I know I'm going to be up on the green and close enough to be able to put it in. And there I was thinking, oh, it might be a chip in, which, you know, your odds go down a little bit, but I was able to stay on the green. Tells me I'm good. Uh, what do you say to that? You know, thanks, but I, I don't want to sound like, uh, you know, like I know I'm good. You know, sometimes you get lucky like I did when I skipped off the sand earlier. So anyway, here he goes again, pulling back further than he needs to. He's not going to gain that much extra distance. So let, let's see where he ended up here. And he is on the fairway. Nice shot. But we are in putt-in territory. And I believe the gentleman, Trent, turns into a troll here trying to screw me up see I, I hate when people spam emojis when you're trying to take a shot at this point you know I'm just like I'm done I'm done talking to this guy you know that would be an excellent feature they should allow you to turn off the chat feature in this game if they if they already do let me know down in the comments that's something I've never noticed now, the, the club he's using, his short iron, the thorn, is excellent when it comes to backspin, you know, to make sure that the ball actually sticks on the green and doesn't roll off if you're dealing with, you know, a horrible green or whatever. Um, but its accuracy is not very high. Uh, where he has it now, I believe the accuracy is around 40, so I wasn't too concerned about him making this. I knew it was a makeable shot, but there was no... You know, if, if he had the, uh, what is it, not the stinger, but that the hornet or whatever, I would have been a little bit more worried. So Trent spamming emojis while I'm putting. Not cool, dude, but I'll take your 30K nonetheless. And then just to show you my bag, this is what I'm using in Tour 6. I switched out the hammerhead for the big dog, and I switched out the backbone for the Goliath. Everything else stays the same. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. It would be awesome to hit 20 likes. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more tutorials or let's plays or just my opinion, whatever. Have a great day.